Welcome to the Suerte del Molino Farm, Andalusia in Spain. Nature is amazing. So amazing that we have no idea what to do with it. We are here on the farm. And during summer we have tremendous heat and the lack of water. When we do have rain in winter, most of it runs off this clay soil. So the first issue we have identified is how to get the water into the soil. Over the last 18 months we have made swales to plant the water, to capture the water and let it infiltrate into the soil. And for the last week we started a pond. It's going slow, but it's going. Only issue right now is we had to fire the excavator operator because he's no good. But we rehired him immediately because uh, he works for free. Anyway, I backfilled this keyway. I took the clay from there, put it here ran over it many many times with the excavator and uh, when I got into that narrow area I turned the excavator and because it's powerful it pushed the track off the sprockets once again and uh, that's why we had to fire the operator but it's back on again I must just get this kitchen paper back to where it comes from or else there's big trouble. The next step is to get this excavator out here once again and then remove this subsoil. I've removed the topsoil. Now under the topsoil, the subsoil, uh, I want to take out another 10 centimeters and then we can bring all of that into the keyway and start building it up more and more. So I've done about 20 centimeters already. A long way to go. The soil samples I have taken from the pond area that have settled now. This is the subsoil, just under the topsoil. And we have some organic material at the bottom. And then some non-organic material on top of that. No sand. So this is the highest, taken on the highest point of the three samples. This one was taken about 20 centimeter deeper and no organic material as such except there must be something I don't know what it is but it doesn't even move very clayish this one was taken the deepest in just below the middle is a darkish line so looks like there's a difference between the top and the bottom what it really means I don't know also the first part of the top is different from the rest so one two three four different layers no idea. This is the eastern berm, 
swale. I patched it up here where it breached the berm. But now I'm ready. Bring it on. The water can come. On the other end of the same swale, we also had some breaching here. And the reason is because this small gully where some water runs down and here where it got together, it spilled over more with the force of the water coming down. I need to empty this canal here. There's a lot of sand, silt deposits that uh, collected here. It was about twice the depth it is now. The plants planted on this soil dam wall, they are doing a great job. Mostly the rye, also the vetiver, broad beans. The next project after the pond and the continuation of the swale is to come and make dams here, ponds, take this dirt out, throw it on top of this at a regular interval and have some beaver-ish dams. They have settled well. They did not move after the last rain. So if I now put soil on top of it and on the receiving end of the water side, make a pond, carry on the process in this erosion gully, I think that will work. The water slowly receding here and that part is getting very green. I think uh, it benefits from the water in there. But it's now five weeks, four weeks. It's not too bad. And then I've placed another cinder block here, keyed it in because there was some leakage on that side. And then while I had the blocks here, I just put one on the other side for decoration. It's actually of little use, but I like it.